Zeb Wise has been behind the wheel of a car since he was five. My dad has always owned a collision business here in Angola. And uh, the guy that delivered tools, his name was Bob Bishak. Bob kind of took notice of my age. I was, you know, four or five years old. And um, it sounds pretty young to be getting started racing, but uh, that was just kind of how it all worked out. The thing is, it didn't work out so great at first. We went out there and tested, and right away I hated it and never wanted to do it again. But Wise got back into the seat and gave it another shot. He lost his first race ever by a tire's length, and from that moment, he was hooked. I don't know what made me hate it, but now I love it, so I'm not sure what changed. The first time standing in victory lane might have had something to do with it for Wise. He's been there a lot, over 200 times. But there's one win that stands out more than the rest, and it begins with a man named Brian Clawson. Brian was a mentor for me in my coming years, and then turned into a guy that gave me an opportunity and uh, pretty much put me on the map. Without him, I... Wouldn't be sitting here talking to you, probably. On August 6th of 2016, Clawson was involved in a midget car crash and died the following night. Last year, Wise racing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in a race that was dedicated to his mentor and won. Not only did I win it in Brian's old car uh, in the 39 BC at the BC 39, but I was the first Hoosier to win uh, the dirt race, you know, at IMS and so uh, no one will be able to ever take that away from me. I think that's the first time I've ever cried in victory lane. Wise set to run his first full year in sprint cars this upcoming season. At such a young age, he's already so close to his dreams. So my end goal, uh, since I was actually five or six years old when I started racing quarter midgets, was to race the World of Outlaws full time. And... Right now, I'm one step under that. The World of Outlaws was Clawson's old stomping ground, and now Wise is hoping he'll be able to continue that legacy soon enough. But for right now, it's just one race at a time. You just got to keep your head down, keep trucking, go to the next race, and uh, go racing. You can't, you know, you can't let the emotions and stuff get a hold of you. This racer has come a long way at such an impressive age. Always forward, never backwards. And in Angola, Colton Howard, Wayne 15.